pain is a big problem. Almost 20% of the population in Sweden suffers from chronic pain. And I have uh, close up seen how that can affect a person's life. My dad was injured in an accident uh, almost 10 years ago now. And that have affected his life tremendously. He went from being a very happy, outgoing and active person to someone who is sometimes quite depressed. And he had to give up his job and... uh, Many times he tells me that he only wishes for one thing these days, to have one pain-free day. So to see how pain is interfering with quality of life really motivates me to, to do this research. So the goal is to better understand what is the mechanism, what is the problem when you have chronic pain. So we can identify new targets or new ways to reduce pain. So ultimately, of course, we want to develop new pain drugs. So we we work with animal models and with cell cultures, uh, and we have decided to focus on a specific disease, rheumatoid arthritis. So we can induce this in the mice and then carefully study how they behave and we can take out tissues, we can take out the nerves, for example, and look to see how they are different. And this way we get clues to what is changing. So it's really important that we can anchor our research in in reality. We are today a group of uh, basic scientists like me, uh, that meet regularly with the doctors that, that see the patient in, in their practices. So we meet with pain specialists and rheumatologists and try to together understand how we can do research better. How can we take advantage of each other? And for sure, we are doing our research at the bench differently today um, because we have these meetings. And and I do think that the, the pain doctors also think a little bit different when they uh, design their clinical experiments uh, because of what we find in the animals.